Hello everyone. Welcome back to Learn Than Four. I hope you all are doing good and staying safe. So we are back with another video on AWS and cloud technology. In this video, I'm going to cover a very important question that I've been receiving from lots of folks. That is, how to start my career in cloud. How can I move um, and switch to a role in the cloud domain? I know lots of folks uh, are thinking about moving into cloud, but they're stuck. They're having lots of queries around it. What are the skills needed to break into cloud? And uh, I have a certain amount of experience in IT, but no experience in cloud. Can I still move to the cloud domain? You know, lots of questions like that. So I thought to create a video on that and clarify all the questions. So without any delay, let's move to the agenda of this. So as you can see, this is the agenda. So I'm gonna discuss all of these things in detail. So do watch till the end. And also if there is any other question that you would still have, you can comment below and let me know. I'll definitely uh, answer your query. So first question is how to break into cloud domain. First of all, I would like to share that breaking into cloud uh, industry is not so difficult. Okay, first cloud industry is a new uh, technology that, that has come into the market and it is growing very fast day by day and more and more organizations are migrating to the cloud. Even the older organizations are moving to the cloud. So having cloud skills are surely something very valuable. Now, it's not a rocket science and it's not too difficult to break into cloud. That is one thing that I would like to mention. And those who are looking to get into an entry level cloud role, then um, I would suggest that if you're working in IT and you have good experience on networking, OS, database, and uh, SQL, NoSQL, and uh, Linux, you already have one part of skill set. Now the other side of get into cloud is to have hands-on experience on the cloud service providers such as AWS, Azure, or GCP. These are the main three cloud service providers. Of course, we do have others, but if you have hands-on experience on any one of these, then that would be a great plus for you. For example, if you understand and if you have hands-on experience on AWS, then it is a great valuable asset for you because uh, AWS has the most uh, market share in the industry and most of the organizations are using AWS. So having AWS skills are very high in demand. So breaking into cloud, I would suggest first to work on your basic IT skills like networking or Linux and database. And then you need to have hands-on experience on cloud. For that, you can take any um, online course which provides hands-on experience and you can just get started with it. Now, next question is, what are the different types of roles in cloud domain? Now, to answer this question, first, I would like to give a brief idea about different roles in IT industry overall. We can see uh, different roles like project manager, product manager, database admin, you know, support desk and architect. So all of these roles can be found in a cloud domain as well. For example, if you're good in product management, then you can surely find a product manager role in cloud also. And these days, if you ask me, then I would say there's so many roles that you can literally have any role in the cloud if you're good in a particular core domain like if you're good in database you can find a cloud support engineer role in a database team and similarly if you're good in networking you can find a network engineer in cloud role in the industry if you're good in architecting then you can have a solution architect role in cloud so there are so many different types of roles that you can find in cloud domain based on your own skill set and based on your own knowledge and experience so just work on your skills search for the uh, different roles based on your skills on LinkedIn and see which one fits you best next is what are the skills required for those as I mentioned focus on what you like the most and work on that skill and then move to the roles which you feel that are relevant two things I would mention again that one work on the basic skills and second work on the hands-on practice because that's the only thing that can get you into the cloud so please make sure to practice as much as you can through labs through projects or if you're currently working in a company in a non-cloud role then 
you can maybe ask in your own organization because you know most of the organization in IT are moving towards cloud. So if there is any project that is going on in your current organization, then you can maybe reach out to your management leadership and ask that you are interested in learning cloud skills. So you would like to join that project and maybe you know provide your inputs and learn and grow yourself as well as help the organization too. So these are the things that you can actually implement on your own and show others that you have valuable skill set and one more thing that i would like to mention is if you are learning something a particular skill set then make sure that you are able to showcase that for example if you're working on a project then make sure you have it available publicly to show the recruiter in case they would like to take a look so you should be able to showcase your work so that the other person can actually see potential in your work because that is the most important thing for the recruiter for the organization to hire you another way to showcase your skill set is via certifications i'm not saying that they are mandatory but that is one of the way that you can also showcase your skill at the end of the day you would need to still uh, clear the interviews but at least these are the things that can help you to open the door for you now next question is do i need professional experience before applying to a job in cloud or can freshers also apply? I would say there is no need to have a professional experience. Currently, cloud technology is moving very fast. When I started, I was a fresher. Even after seven years, 10 years, you can break into cloud and even after passing your college, you can uh, break into cloud. So it's all about having the right skill set and having the passion and interest towards cloud. Next question, I have five years of experience in IT and now I would like to switch into cloud. Can I do that? Which role should I apply for and how to prepare for it? See, you can switch into cloud at any point of time in your career. There's no restriction at all. Can I do that? Yes, of course, you can do that. Which role should I apply for? It would depend upon your own skill set. If you're good with consultation, then you can apply for a cloud consultant role. If you're good with technical support, you can apply for a cloud support engineer role. If you're good with the architect role, you can apply for a solution architect. And similarly, you can apply for network engineer in cloud, database admin, and uh, solutions engineer if you are in sales. So there are lots of lots of roles that you can apply for based on your own skill set. There's no such specific difference in the types of roles as compared to the traditional roles in IT. So you can find similar uh, jobs, similar titles in cloud also. How to prepare for them? Um, work on your basic skill set, the core skills that you would need in any role. Uh, regardless of cloud or um, IT, along with having hands-on experience on cloud service providers such as AWS, Azure, GCP and any other, but these are the major ones. Now last but not the least, I wanted to share about Newton School. Newton School is a great platform to learn and develop your skills that you would need for your tech career. It would help you to boost your skills and prepare for your dream job. The team is dedicated to build and structure your career for the dream companies worldwide based on your skills, eligibility, preferences and they work hard until you get one of your jobs. The best part about Newton School is that there's no upfront fees that you need to pay for their courses. I would highly suggest to go for their full stack development course. They will help you to build your career in full stack development with providing hands-on experience. And again, as I mentioned, best part is there's no upfront fees that you need to pay. So definitely go check it out. I will share the links in the description below. And uh, as mentioned here, this course will include daily life classes, live projects, personal mentors, contests, and interview preparation. So what are you waiting for? Do check it out and get your dream company jobs. So this was all that I wanted to share in this video and I really hope you all liked this video and uh, found it helpful. If you have any other queries related to cloud roles, cloud technology, AWS, GCP, Azure, you can definitely comment them below. And if you find this video helpful, do like, share and subscribe. It would help me to provide you more such information and help you learn more about cloud. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.